What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MULM store. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, can't live it up on. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what news uh, was the catalyst uh, for its uh, recent movement uh, for about 38%. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis, and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point just a couple of days ago, and uh, I've told you on this video that we probably should break uh, the all-time low, and we should go below the 20 cents price point. And as you can see, it happened. During just uh, this session on uh, June the 20th, uh, it uh, lost... Uh, about 35.6% uh, of its value and uh, what uh, is more interesting that it gained again let's say 35% to the upside but it didn't reach the same level and you probably know if you know how to count properly these uh, percentage movements you know that uh, if uh, your asset lost about 30% and then gained again 30% you will not be at the same spot you will be lower because the base prices are different. So, and uh, what was the reason of uh, this movement to the upside? Let me show you that uh, they published several press releases. One of them, I don't uh, want even comment on it. And uh, this uh, news was made uh, purely for David uh, Mishery and uh, for his stock-based compensation for his uh, milestones. But I want to pay your attention on this one. Mulling announces moratorium on new financing for balance of 2023. Company has sufficient capital for at least uh, the next 12 months. And this news is quite interesting. Right here, they stated uh, that uh, they have enough money to operate for at least uh, uh, 12 months. And uh, previously, they stated that they had uh, $135 million uh, of cash and cash equivalents. This means uh, they have uh, a little bit more than $10 million uh, a month. But I have to say that if you want uh, to uh, start uh, the production, you have uh, to have much more money on your balance sheet. And uh, on top of that, I want to pay your attention on this uh, amazing, uh, uh, let me show you right here, on this amazing information that was published uh, on Reddit thread related to Malin by Trade Gopher. And uh, he wrote, today's Malin sufficient, so-called sufficient capital PR and why I don't believe it. And uh, here you can read uh, this entire statement, uh, this entire article by yourself. And uh, here you can uh, find uh, all the information that you need to know if you want to invest in this asset. And uh, Trade Gopher describes perfectly well why Malin cannot uh, hold uh, this uh, promise and uh, why they will dilute existing shareholders till the end of the uh, year. And I have to say that um, if you compare just uh, this company with, for example, other startups uh, that were at this stage when they wanted to start uh, their deliveries, and uh, let's uh, compare them with uh, Lucid Motors uh, back in September 2021 and uh, with uh, Rivian back uh, in uh, September again of 2021. And let me, let's compare the numbers. So, uh, Lucid Group, uh, back in, in September 30th of 2021, in the Q3, had uh, cash and cash equivalents of uh, $4.796 billion. And uh, if we compare it with the Rivian, they had uh, $5.156 billion. And uh, this uh, cash amount is uh, sufficient to start... Uh, uh, to produce only one vehicle. And uh, we can see that Lucid uh, started their production in uh, uh, Q3 of 2021, and Rivian also did the same. But for now, let's uh, take a look on Marlin Automotive 10K form, and uh, it uh, was filed uh, in uh, uh, January 13th. And uh, by the end of 2022, they had only $54 million. Not billion, but million dollars. And uh, for now, yes, for now they have $135 million, but it is nowhere near and it is not enough to start uh, to produce only one vehicle. But David Michery stated that uh, they will produce, uh, first of all, class 3 truck and then they will start to produce a uh, class uh, 1 EV cargo van. And we all know that these vehicles uh, 
uh, are just a leftover from ELMS and they have uh, more than 300 uh, uh, class 1 electric vans and about 27 uh, of uh, class 3 trucks. Definitely they can start to deliver these vehicles, but uh, they cannot start to produce it. And uh, nothing can change it. On top of that, let's uh, take a look uh, on the importgenius.com website. And this website uh, tracks uh, the ex export uh, import activity of every company in the United States. And uh, Malin Automotive uh, has only three shipments uh, and uh, they uh, basically imported just several vehicles. Uh, these four vehicles is uh, just uh, class one electric vans. And uh, this is another vehicle. It is a class two electric van. But let's take a look on Lucid Motors. And uh, right here you can find uh, that uh, they have uh, at least uh, 938 shipments uh, to Lucid USA and they imported battery cooling plate module, uh, plastic parts for cars, trim skillet uh, and so on and so forth. Another company uh, that belongs to Lucid, it is a Lucid Motors Logistics uh, Records, has 65 shipments and they imported a wheel speed sensor, rare subframe from South Korea, from Spain, from China. And you will not find any auto manufacturer without these uh, type of filings. But uh, uh, Marlin Automotive doesn't have it. And this means it is a pure evidence that, will, uh, that this company will not start to produce their vehicles anytime soon. And uh, that is why you have to be very cautious uh, with this uh, uh, company as a long-term holdings in your portfolio. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, uh, uh, this asset uh, had a very good movement to the upside uh, for the last session alone. It gained uh, more than 30% to its value, but right now, as you can see, we are on pre-market hours and uh, uh, it is uh, hovering uh, right at the level when it was uh, on the yesterday's, on the at the end of yesterday's session. And uh, in my opinion, uh, this uh, trading session will also be quite choppy. And uh, in my opinion, it might retest the bottom. I don't think that it will break it to the downside today, but I think uh, it uh, should retest uh, its bottom. And if you zoom out, if you switch to let's say uh, four hours time frame and zoom out you will see that this asset is in consistent downtrend and uh, nothing can stop it because it has a huge dilution. And despite of uh, this uh, statement, and I have to say that this statement might be quite controversial if you keep in mind the fiduciary duty that uh, every CEO should follow. But uh, I think uh, this uh, is nothing more than just an attempt to uh, calm down the storm on the market regarding this asset. And I think uh, David Mishri uh, will publish a lot of uh, these type of statements that uh, I have to say that previously uh, they also stated that they have enough fund uh, to uh, operate for at least 6 to 12 months. But right after that, uh, they increased the number of uh, outstanding shares for more than twice. And definitely you cannot rely on these statements anymore because uh, of its price action and because uh, their statements are basically bold and misleading statements. That's why, guys, my main idea is uh, to preserve your capital. I don't uh, care about this company. I don't care about any company. What I care about is uh, just uh, the people who try to save their capitals on the stock market. And I will help them to do it and I will help them not to make any mistakes uh, regarding certain assets. And this asset doesn't worth your attention. That's why I don't recommend you to enter any of your position with this asset. And definitely it is not a financial advice. It is uh, just uh, my thoughts regarding this asset. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack